Hey guys, all right. So today I have got for you a get unready with me video. Um, I have had an idea for doing midnight makeup for years because I have horrible sleep habits and I'm inevitably awake at midnight with some weird burst of energy thinking about crazy stuff. And um, so I thought if that ever happens, I'm just gonna do midnight makeup. Like. <laughs> Um, but I decided to sort of ease into it, okay? So we're not gonna go crazy. So you may be wondering, yes, that's why it's dark in my uh, room. That's why like the light is shining on me. I never have artificial light ever in my videos. I always have natural light coming in right through my window, which is right there. So, but it's nighttime now. So um, we're gonna do it this way. And you guys let me know if you like videos like this. If you could just do without them, you can let me that, know that too as well, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with, I've got a very, I don't know if you can tell in this lighting, but I've got a very light makeup day on today. It's Wednesday when I'm filming this. So I have church on Wednesdays and I usually try to do light makeup on church days. So I'm just using the Equate Beauty Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. It is the Neutrogena Dupe, the Equate version of it. And I'm really gonna use this to remove all my makeup, honestly. Okay, and now I'm just gonna take a regular old baby wipe and I'm going to wipe off any of the residual from the eye makeup remover because even though it's oil free, sometimes it has a little bit of a residual oily feeling. And why well, pack you guys? Like ever since I had my first child 23 years ago, um, I have been using baby wipes in my house to clean everything. They're less harsh than like a Clorox wipe or whatever. Um, but in this brand, it's, a, it's called Gentle Steps Fragrance Free Wipes. Um, they are from Dollar General is where I get these. And they're cloth-like. So they're not like paper wipes, they're cloth-like wipes. So they're really gentle, but they don't fall apart or tear apart. So if you guys are looking for a simple for your baby or just for you to have a, um, a simple, easy cleaning wipe for anything, check out those baby wipes. And listen, Dollar General, you want to sponsor me? I'm here. Hit me up, bro. I would love to be sponsored by anybody, actually. Okay, so moving on. Now that we've got our makeup removed, I have never been one to um, have a nighttime routine for years. I never have. Um, I've never cared but just recently, I don't know what got into me, but like now I'm doing face oils and stuff. So this is a face oil that I mixed up and it is half castor oil and half jojoba oil. And then it's got like five to 10 drops of frankincense oil. So um, I usually just put this on. There's no real science to it. I just put a couple drops on and I keep it all in a like on a little tray by the side of my bed. And sometimes I'm a real bad girl and I don't even take my makeup off and I just put the oil right over top of it. Should you do this? Probably not, but I have been and I don't care. And recently what I've been doing is just a little bit of this. I'll do like 10 of these. and then right here by my cheekbone. And I'm not real gentle, like horror, like crazy gentle. I mean, I'm giving myself a massage, like, like a good one. And I don't care, like I don't care, I'm 45. I don't care and I don't wanna hear blah, blah, this and that. I'm 45, it's too late. What? I'm 45, so it's really too late for me to be like trying to save my skin. Okay, and then I also will put this um, rose hip oil on just right over top of that. I do like the way the rose hip oil smells though, it's very herby. And the last thing for my face that I will do is, this is just straight uh, castor oil. 
and I will just put a little bit of this on my eyebrows and like right there look at see my bald patch it's filling in I don't know and uh, castor oil is actually good for the lipid layer of your actual eyeball so if this gets in your eye it's fine and if you have like very dry eyes you can actually put a drop of castor oil in your eye and it will strengthen that lipid layer that is uh, right over your actual eyeball. Okay, and then sometimes I will use this. This is, um, I can't, I can't read it because my, my eyes are all blurred from the castor oil. I'll try to, to um, put in the, uh, the uh, not the comments, but in the description. It's a cream, it's like a menthol natural menthol. I think there might be a little bit of CBD in there. I, I don't know. I don't care. Um, but this is a, for my neck, it's a like muscle relaxer. It's very mentholated. So it's almost like putting Vicks Vaporub on your muscles, but it, when you rub it, it is soothing, but it's cooling as well. So I have the worst muscle, skeletal muscle muscular problems with my neck because I have a forward head and my neck has taken the brunt of it my whole life so it's very painful sometimes and uh, sometimes the muscles just cramp up but this cream really helps to and then the massage helps to loosen up those muscles a little bit if I could get to the chiropractor he would just crack my neck up and I would be, I would have relief, but I, I just can't get to one. It's just something always comes up and I'm always too busy or can't do it or something. Something always comes up. So the last thing that I'll do and this, that neck, this cream is, it's already just feeling so good. It's the menthol or whatever that's in it. Um, the last thing that I do, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but you're getting a middle part from me. You're getting a middle part from me from now on because I've got a bald patch here on my side part. I've had a side part for years like literally years since my son was born. So t over 20 years, I've had a side part and I did a side part because my hair naturally grows that way. So I was like, stop fighting it, Holly, just have a side part. But now we have a bald patch. So you're getting a middle part from me, you guys. So the last thing that I'll do at nighttime, and again, no rhyme or reason to this, is I will take my hair oil that I mixed up, which is half castor oil, half fractionated uh, coconut oil, and then there's a bunch of rosemary essential oil in here. And then eventually I'm gonna make one with rosemary and um, peppermint oil because I've heard that's uh, good for hair growth as well. So I just, I actually like when I'm just sitting in my bed, I just start putting it on and just dropping it wherever. And I don't even have a mirror or anything. I just, until it feels like there's a lot on my scalp and I don't think I do any more than three dropperfuls, but it's usually less than that. I don't think that you need that much. And I can kind of feel it um, dripping down. So I just wanna make sure that my entire scalp in the front area of my hair gets all the oil. And I do this several times a week, three to four times a week. I don't know if you're supposed to, I don't, and I don't care one way or the other. I don't know that it's gonna work. I'm just doing it because I want to. And I'm just going to just massage that in. I've noticed more thinning of my hair than I am comfortable with. And so we're just gonna try this and see what happens. Not down on the bottom half of my hair, it's all like right here is where it's really thinning out. So, all right, and there we have it. That's what I do for a nighttime routine. And you can see how shiny I am because like the oil, like I got a lot of oil going on. So if you like videos like this, please don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding that bell, and I will see you in the next one.